Hi everybody, um, my name is Christina Weston. I have been a music teacher going on my 20th year now. And I've been seeing so many posts of people asking, I'm gonna be on a cart, what do I do? So um, I have been on a cart for more than half of my career and it is possible to get things done. And I wanted to share with you my cart. Here is my cart. So what I have here is a toolbox and this toolbox is on wheels. And as you can see, as you can see, I can lift this toolbox. There are no problems when I lift this toolbox. So I can bring it upstairs and downstairs. My school is three stories inside and two stories outside. Yes, two stories outside. We have so many trailers. We are huge. We have three full-time music teachers. So been everywhere. We have an elevator, thankfully, but sometimes it doesn't always work. So you need something that you can carry everywhere you go. So let me show you what is inside of my toolbox. All right, the great thing about this toolbox is that I can, one, I can actually separate it. There's these little locks here. I can separate it there. And as you can see, I have an inner chamber in the middle, and then I have another chamber at the bottom. What I can do, I can actually sometimes just take the top part. The top part, I'll show you what's inside of it in a moment. But I could also just leave the top part attached to the middle and I take it off to the bottom. And when I'm teaching kindergarten, because you don't know what teachers are gonna have available for you. All right, so I've taken off the top two sections and now I have a stool and I can sit here when I'm teaching my kindergarten classes and when I just wanna get down on the floor with this. Okay, so here is my top level. In my top part of my box, I keep one side and it has dry erase eraser. It has binder clips. It has smaller binder clips. Binder clips are your best friends. And it also has our paper clips. And I keep so many hooks in here. Hooks is your other best friend to keep yourself organized. On this other side, I keep all of my markers. I keep pens in here. I have highlighters. I have Sharpies. All the tools that you might need to write with and it's really quick and accessible. Now, when I open this up, the top part here is where I actually keep my school laptop. It just sits right in there and it closes up. Now inside of here, I'm gonna sit down for a moment. Now, inside of my box, I have stuffed animals. You need them. I have clickers cards. Now, I think what I'll probably do this next year is each class will get their own set of clickers cards. So only each student has their own one. If you don't know what clickers are, look them up. They're a lot of fun. Um, I have all of my classes color-coded by grade level. This is orange, so I know it's a first grade class. And they would also have an orange hook. All right now here's a pink and a yellow one. So student work is hole punched and then attached. So I can just pull the homeroom teacher. And when I collect work from them, I already have it hole punched ready to go. So I just put it on the loop and I throw it in here. That way I don't have to worry about bringing filing cabinets, file drawers. So it's all on hooks. And then I can go back to my office and I can put it into a file folder if that's what I want to do. Pencils and erasers, a whole ton of them. You never know if the kids are gonna have them. So it's always best to be prepared and not to get too grumpy about it like I used to. So I'm just like, here, have a pencil. If they have a pencil, they're like, I need to sharpen my pencil. Just give them a pencil. It's just gonna be that much easier. Yeah. Um, I have a swing stapler. I love this thing. So when you have booklets that they're gonna use, I always have a stapler with me because once again, you never know when you're gonna need it. My favorite Tron Smart Bluetooth speaker. This Bluetooth speaker is very loud. You can see the bass right there. So much sound and it's great. I just make sure that I charge it every night. Um, I have games. Some of you might recognize these, but I keep a whole bunch of different games in here um, for each of the different grade levels. Um, 
calls the intense cool. Awesome. Everybody needs lotion. Scissors, extra mallets. You always need sticky notes. Um, here's another one of just markers. Another bag of markers. Sometimes I end up with like three or four. Um, more binder clips. Stamps, if you wanna just give awards, you can just stamp a kid and say, yay, congratulations. Now, with the COVID stuff, probably I'm not gonna use that anymore. Um, another thing that you might wanna have is one of these um, clicker mice, um, presentation mice that has a little red dot. Uh, let's see, red dot. I sometimes use it, I sometimes don't. I really only just use this mouse here and I can just hand it to the students and they can manipulate things that are on the board. So everything can be a little more, bit more interactive. And with the COVID stuff, you know what? You can just have wipes available, wipe it off after a student has used it and you can use it again, or you can pass it on to another student. Um, this hole punch, the best hole punch ever. And also label all your stuff, you need to, so you don't lose it. Um, this whole punch can go through like 10 pieces of paper at one time. I've probably gotten it through 25 pieces of paper at one time. It's awesome. It's only like seven bucks on Amazon. All right. So, and I also have another set of all the little sticky notes just to keep your notes, put them on your computer, keep them everywhere. All right. Next level down. Okie dokie next level down here is the middle level now this is something that it, it has a handle so i could carry this around and yes that was my rubber chicken we all need our rubber chickens even if it is just for you know some comedy in the classroom um i've got my piano pig here i've got my hot potato now again next year probably no hot potato unfortunately um, I've got one of my many pointers. I love all the fun pointers, so I throw at least one or two in here. I've got my doggy bone. I guess you could actually play this as long as you wash the bone. I have extra VGA cables. Here's what I'm gonna tell every teacher. If you don't like the technology setup in a teacher's classroom, you become their best friend and offer to help them set up their technology. They will love you and then they won't question your ability to take care of technology. Because I've had the questions, well, um, you messed up my technology. And I'm like, no, I didn't, I'm sorry. You know, I, I do know what I'm doing. Um, if you're the only teacher that that ever happens with, then it's probably not me. So anyways, do the technology for them. Keep my recorders. You can play melodies with them. You will need band-aids. So I have my Avengers band-aids because they're always fun. Oh, here's Forte Frog. He was in here somewhere. Um, sometimes you need adapters to have adapters available. Got some bells, help to keep attention. Extra crayons, sometimes I need crayons. Got Lucy Lockett's pocket. Now, of course the song is about whoring and the whores fighting over money, but eh, I forgot. I also have my Steven Universe stickers in here because, or you can use whatever stickers. So that's a great place to keep your stickers. Now, bottom. This is where I keep a classroom set of rhythm sticks. Um, I would suggest for this next year to see if you can get rhythm sticks. I would probably go the chopstick route so every kid has their own set that they keep in the classroom, but then you would keep like hundreds of extras. I'm pretty sure that we can find lots of chopsticks for a cheap price. Um, and then I have in these, I have manipulatives. And what I'm going to do this next year is I'm going to have different sets of manipulatives for each class. Um, we're looking at an AB schedule, AB week schedule. We're looking at an AB week schedule for our students this year. So I will be able to put these out there. I'm probably going to just not laminate anything and I'm just gonna print it out, throw it in, have the kids use it when they are there for whatever um, unit we're gonna be doing and then chuck it. That's just probably gonna be the best thing, but they fit in the here. Um, when it's my cool color envelopes, 
these are melody. I have the warm colors and those are rhythm. Just helps me when I'm seeing things in my office and being like, oh, I need melody manipulatives. And then I grab them. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot of the other instruments with me. Um, Cause sometimes you only have five minutes between each class. Sometimes it's just not worth the stress to your brain to get everything where it needs to go. We do have at my school two class sets of just octavator, just octave bells. We do have those. And so we check with all the other teachers and be like, hey, are you gonna be using these? If not, and then we have them in a little cart that I have students help me move, but I'm not bringing all the ORF instruments around um, as much as I would love to, but I've had to just be like, okay, can I still teach these? So I have to think can I still teach these concepts without having to bring these or instruments? Or can I just have them play on the little bells for right now? Is it gonna sound the best? No, it's not. But are they still gonna get the same skills? Yes, they are. Now, if you want to have students come and get the instruments and bring them to the classroom or check with the teacher and see if you can leave all the instruments in there, then you can you can do that but it's really hard having a huge cart going in and out of the classrooms because teachers it's their classroom too and so they have things in the way of the doors and so you're not fighting and we're all in this together and it's just not worth getting angry at them if they don't have so many things available for you the things that i ask are a clear board space the ability to access uh, a document camera and the ability to plug in my computer. And, you know, some of the other stuff, if I move the desks around, I always know I'm gonna put them back where they are. But, you know, I ask for clear board space, document camera, projector. Those are the must haves. There are many other things that you say, or you can think that you must have, but in the end, is it worth the stress that it's gonna cause everybody for this next year? Cause I'm sure a lot of you guys are in new schools. Well, cause I'm sure that a lot of you guys are in schools that have never had teachers on a cart. So we have to, you have to figure out what is it that you're going to be willing to let go of and what is it that you wanna hold on to? So the three things I say to hold on to, I'm gonna say it again, board space, document camera, projector and make sure that your computer connects to the projectors. So this is my cart and you know, I just threw everything out here, but it's really easy to keep everything in place. It doesn't get wet in the elements. It's lightweight. Um, my teammates, they have a little bit larger cart that has a lot more compartments in it so they can actually carry a whole class set of bells and a whole class set of rhythm sticks. So you have the rhythm and you have the pitch. Um, and I would suggest for like all the other things that you would want to, that you would want like rhythm cards, um, just flashcards, anything like that, have it digital. Um, It'll just save you space. It'll just save you stress. Have everything digital. Have everything in a place that you can get to it really quickly. All right, if you have any more questions, um, you can just message me. And good luck.